All right, so again, um, the overall objective of the uh, IAB today is to talk about emerging technologies, and many of the emerging technologies have a health focus, and so I guess an overarching theme for our industrial advisory board is how communications, all right, so all of us working in wireless and 5G and these, these type of backbone and, and connectivity problems, how we can interface with these new emerging technologies. And um, I think a key way to look at things is that communications provides a fabric for a lot of different services, and in particular, they're going to help us address our health problems, all right? Um, the communications themselves aren't doing it, it's facilitating the sharing of information. And what we see as we move to this 5G vision is this pervasive connectivity allowing the sharing of all sorts of data, connecting many more devices than ever were present. And in order for that to happen, all right, we have to have these new types of sensors and data collection apparatus. So if you look at our agenda today, you'll see that we're going to have some really different types of talks than we normally have. We have talks that are going to be a little more sensor focused on, on actual health data, how we collect particular types of data for what's going on inside a person's body, um, as well as just general monitoring of, of people. How do we monitor them through smart internet of medical things type technologies? All right. And so another theme that you will see is that data is what drives these, uh, these new emerging technologies in healthcare. Um, and so a way to kind of think of that then is that with lots of data, you have to learn something that we didn't know before. All right, and so there will be some talks also today on what I would call machine learning and AI related to, um, I guess, healthcare. All right. And so a uh, thing to think about here is that with this Internet of Medical Things and Smart Health, it's really about getting the data to where it needs to go. And so you've got you know, insulin monitors, which really are about controlling some type of internal biological process. So this is just a PID controller. All right, in order for that to happen, you need data. And the only way to get the data to where it needs to go, so to the cloud for cloud health purposes or something, is to have good 5G connectivity. So think about that and how that's how wireless will, will play a role. And as sort of the motivating slide for today, all right, this sort of puts together everything um, all in one really densely packed slide. We have a sensing layer where data is being collected. And so if you look at the agenda again, we're going to have some talks on actual sensors collecting types of data that probably most of us haven't even heard of, all right? Things that really involve internal biological processes, all right? That data will be somehow sent through connectivity to some type of learning layer. The learning layer will analyze the data, all right, through new machine learning, um, cloud computing type uh, algorithms, and then ultimately will lead to ways that we improve our health. So improving our well-being through telling us to get out of bed and go, go exercise, or something like, hey, you know, you, your blood pressure is low and you need to sit down or something like that. All right, so without further delay, what we're going to do is, is hand off to um, Michael Wu, who will give a talk on metamaterial um, antennas. Now, there's a slight change in the schedule because um, uh, Professor Ortiz is having uh, traffic problems and he'll be here a little bit later. So we'll swap to uh, Professor, Professor Wu.